And joining us on the phone this morning from the Graves Hume Public Library in Mendota, Emily, good morning. Good morning. How are we doing today? Awesome. Thanks for having me. Now, we got some fun stuff happening at the library. You guys always have all sorts of crazy activities for kids and grown-ups <laughs> alike. Um, yes. And let's talk about you have a special author coming in on Saturday. We do. We have um, Elizabeth Nielsen, who wrote Utter Chaos, Amusing Adventures with Farm Animals. Now, Utter is in U-D-D-E-R, right? U-D-D-E-R, yes. Uh, of Correct. Course. Of course. Uh-huh. Um, she is, she's uh, from Elburn, and she lives on a farm, and this is adventures from her farm. So she, um, I love the book. The My kids love it because there's repetitive uh, words in there, and they they yell it out right when I get to it. So it's it'll be a lot of fun on Saturday. And, and so that'll I'll, yeah yeah. So that'll be an event on Saturday with the author. She'll be coming into town, and will she have copies of the book for sale? I assume absolutely yes. Uh huh. And then she'll be reading her book at ten thirty and eleven. There's no need to register. There's no need to have a library card. Anyone. And everyone is welcome. Would it be inappropriate so. to make animal sounds during the I, reading? No, I I want that. Yes. yes. <laughs> and of course, we. Are you will sure have... you want Charles to come in and do animal sounds? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, I didn't specifically say Charles. See, exactly. but, but, but his yeah. question, I know his brain. His brain was like, "Yes, I get to go make animal sounds." I, so you know, that'd be fine. <laughs> Elizabeth Nielsen, she'll be there, uh, ten thirty and eleven. Two sets of programs there on. Saturday at the Yeah, Graves. And it's a great opportunity if anybody, you know, is thinking about writing a book, you know, you can ask her questions and how she went through that process of self-publishing too, so. Oh, wow. So it's self-published as well. That's great. So yep. that's, mm-hmm. that'll be an interesting thing. Always, of course, good for people to express their words and put them to paper. And then, of course, exactly. that gives you guys things to put in the shelves at the library. But you're not just about books there at the library, are you? We are not. No. Just recently, we had a uh, teen or tween Iron Chef where the kids came in and cooked for us. So it was yeah. And I saw your list of I saw your list of celebrity judges, some esteemed folks oh. in the community. But then I realized that um, you, you kind of missed out on one important celebrity did? as I adjust yes. my tie here. Yes. <laughs> uh, next time, Charles. Next time, yes, you can, you can be here. And just so you know, I will be overly critical of the kids. I I will I will go I will go full screaming. Maybe maybe there's a reason you weren't asked. You weren't asked. I could go. I can't unleash my inner Gordon Hmm. Ramsay on Uh, on tweens. Absolutely not. (laughs) You call that a grilled cheese? Um, (laughs) Other events coming up in March. You guys are doing some uh, fun things with the museums in town. Oh yes, yeah. We have our book club. there for the adults and then we have our tweens going there too for a scavenger hunt i love partnering with uh, other places in the community so we can get out and about and explore other things and all sorts of uh special guests coming in too uh at the end of the month i saw you'll have <laughs> cynthia clampett in I was one. I was wondering if you were going to bring this one up, Charles. Yeah, I figured uh, you would first off, comment on the uh, Cynthia Clampett. Let's just. I, I don't want to judge people based on their names. They don't get to pick their names. No, but with the last don't. name like Clampett, you know what you're getting into. <laughs> uh, she is presenting the history of pigs and pork. Well, uh, yes, an interesting, absolutely fascinating history, and we're going to talk about. Um, how it went from Boars to Bacon Fest. I mean, who doesn't love bacon? Yeah, I, ju- I just think that I think that presentation might be a bit of a bore. Oh, Put on check. Da, 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 da. Yeah, <laughs> I've right, been waiting on that one all day. Uh, yeah. So that's coming up on March 28th, and you got a, a thing going on for uh, a trap neuter release for cats in the community. Which we is do. which is also again, it's a library, but you guys do so much fun stuff and, and interesting things and this oh, and this cat project again to help uh, reduce the number of feral cats. And if anyone yes, has we, questions about that, they can contact you guys, right? Exactly. Yes, we love cats, but we also want to make sure that we are not overpopulated. So 
and coming up on Saturday again uh, to circle back around. Uh, you do have an author coming in, obviously free to the public. Elizabeth Nielsen, Utter Chaos, Amusing Adventures with Farm Animals at the Graves Hume Public Library. Is there a place people can go looking on the Internet to find out more information about stuff you guys have planned? Yes, absolutely. Our Facebook page is a perfect place for everyone to go and check what we have coming up. We're going to have some fun and exciting things for summer reading, so make sure you're following us on Facebook. Excellent. Graves Hume Public Library. Thank you so much, Emily. You have a great day. Thank you. You too. It is The Breakfast Show with Charles and Karen.